Um, the difficulties, I guess, with pumping, I mean, because the pumping is so wet, it, um, it makes it not be a little bit softer and can be wetter. So the idea is to try and really dry the pumpkin out. And so that's why I've got a pumpkin in this pot here, drying it out. So I've previously roasted the pumpkin. Um, it's actually about 500 grams of pumpkin um, to about 700 grams of potato. So potato and pumpkin both go through the tabby tip um, to ensure it's all nice and smooth. Um, but you can see that the texture of it is still quite wet. Um, and just like a normal knocky, you need to be working quite quickly um, so you don't develop that starch too much when it comes to sort of gluey and sticky. You certainly don't want that with knockies. Um, so the recipe is uh, 700 grams of potato, 500 grams of roasted, dried out sort of pumpkin pulp. Uh, there's two whole eggs and one yolk. And, uh, and we've got about 300 grams of hard flour, so double oat flour. And we'll just put in a little bit of corn flour in there as well to, again, help with that sort of wetness of the gnocchi. Um, and of course there's parmesan and salt and pepper in. Um, I always say like the most important thing about making a gnocchi is to have everything ready. So here you can see I've got my ice water ready. I've got the water boiling on the back as well, ready, salted. All the equipment and stuff's ready. So it's all about working as quickly as possible. So we don't, you know, the gnocchi can sometimes get a bit soft and be really difficult to work with. And so we won't be able to get the shapes we're looking for. You know, we're definitely looking to make sure that all those little lumps and stuff are out. So the potato has already been through the bully, as it normally would for a knocky. And then you see it's coming out nice and smooth on the back here. But I'm just, I'm working quickly to make sure that this mixture doesn't go cold. Because as soon as it goes cold, it's all over. This is a new dish actually, so we're just trying new garnish that we're going to be serving with salmon. Um, and it's going to be roasted pumpkin knockies with a shiitake broth. And Lyndon's over there working on some of the vegetables that are going to go with that. Um, so it's, it's just you tonight. So. And is this is on the menu so far or for a. This, this will be on the menu tonight, yeah. Uh, it's a new dish. We don't have it on yet, so. So you've changed the menu? Or? We're changing the menu tonight. We, I generally only change like, a couple of things at a time. Um, and that's just because. You know, I like consistency and systems and, you know, making sure things are right. And, you know, sometimes people are just really happy with some of the dishes on it. You know, if it's not broken, why fix it? We don't fix it. Um, so I put the egg into the, the pulp there because you don't really want to be working any of the mixture much at all. So I know pretty much how much salt I'm going to need in the mix and pretty much how much pepper. But that, you know, that all comes in practice, I guess. And look, I haven't done this for quite a, a, a while, so hopefully we get a good result. And the next thing is parmesan cheese. Yeah. Parmesan cheese finely grated. Get that in there while the mix is still hot. It generally takes a bit in nuts. Everybody likes a little bit of parmesan. Right, so just making sure it's incorporated, but that, that's really not going to work, I'm not beating it. Okay, so this is a measured amount of flour. So I want to make sure that I'm not working it too much, so I'm going to put quite a bit in at the start. Sort of like cutting through the mixture. More sort of rubbing than, than working. And it sort of it, it comes with experience now when you can feel the mixture. And it, it, it doesn't want to be sticky on your hands, it just needs to be just nice, but like that's at the moment it's a little bit sticky, so it's a bit gluey, that's a bit too much. Not enough flour yet, but of course if you add too much flour, you're going to get that sort of pasty um, consistency that we don't really want. So worked in but it's fairly worked in and, and I haven't added all the flour so I still have some left of the recipe 
And the idea is that, you know, hopefully you don't have to add all the flour. Okay, so let's do a test it out. And that's probably, you know, an important part of it too, is doing a tester. Make a little sausage. This is our tester. Right, water is boiling. Boiling salt and water, chuck that straight in. This will only take a minute or two to see if that's uh, going to work. I think it's going to work. In the water, you're just looking for you know something that's holding its shape. You know, there's not bits falling off, it's you know it's lovely, um, it's like that. Um, then so now I'm just seeing how it holds together in the pan. So you just want to put some colour on that chef or? Yeah, just a little bit of colour. Um, generally you start with a little bit of oil until you get the colour and then what I do is finish it off with a tiny little bit of butter once you have the colour on there. See that the um, you know the knocky's turned out quite well, it's lovely and golden, it's held its shape. Up here, up here. 